Today's episode of Game Geeks is sponsored by DriveThruRPG.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode is another DriveThruRPG.com sponsored product, Heroes of Magnamund. This is a supplement to the Lone Wolf multiplayer role-playing book that we reviewed earlier. Because this is a DriveThruRPG.com sponsored product, if you're interested in getting your hands on this, you can use the coupon code seen below for a discount off of the download on the DriveThruRPG site. This is a really big expansion that I alluded to back in the Lone Wolf book that opens up your game for anything other than Kai Lords. Now, the Kai Lords are mainly, are really exclusively what the multiplayer book gives you. This spreads it open wide to a whole bunch of stuff from both Northern and Southern Mag Magnamund. And it does it by keeping it in line with everything you saw in the original Lone Wolf book. So you have the combat skill, endurance, and disciplines, and how each one of those can vary accordingly. They do add a new stat here, willpower, which is appropriate for some of the character types in here. We'll talk about those. What you find in this book are new characters, including a border ranger of the north, which is sort of a woodsman archer type, the brother of the crystal star, which is a magic user from Summerland. It's sort of a bending magic to their will type. Dwarven gunner of Boar, which is the from Boradin, which is a, the dwarves of the land. Their main thing, they have guns, gunpowder, fire, firearms. An herb warden of Batar, the sort of earthy druids, ice barbarian of cult from the northern frozen wildernesses, and we can keep going through here, which I, I will, I'll highlight some from here on in. Knight of the White Mountain, if you want to play someone from Durner rather than, say, Summerland, and its counterpart, the Summerlanding Knight of the Realm. Both of these are your standard fantasy, high armor, swing a sword, ride a horse, use a lance sort of knights. The Magician of Desi, who are the inheritors of the Elder Magi, who see magic more as something to be flowed with and use it accordingly rather than bent to their will. The Talkoi Warrior, which is sort of the uh, female Amazonian desert warriors. I have less background and knowledge of those. Apparently that was a series of game books that was either not published in America or not published at all. Finally, the, the Vaqueros Warrior Mage, who work with the Elder Magi as sort of their warrior mage arm. As I said, each one of these can be plugged into your existing Lone Wolf game, so not everyone has to be a Kai Lord now. Now they can be all these other things. The balance is still kept, so you could have a starting party of rank five, which is kind of the starting rank for everybody, rank five characters. You could have a Kai Lord, a Summerlanding Knight of the Realm, a Brother of the Crystal Star, a Border Ranger of the North, and crap, even a, a, a Dwarven Gunner of Boar, all working together toward a single goal. And that really accomplishes pretty much everything that you, you know, that has a pretty well-balanced party there. There's more equipment and special item notes, a, the combat result table again, and the random number table, which personally I would use a D10, but it's kind of nice to have that just for the, you know, the nostalgia of it. There's a lot in the comment section on the Lone Wolf uh, page of a lot of us older gamers remember this series of books and this world very fondly. I do. When I think of the Brother of the Crystal Star, I remember meeting Bainden in the woods, helping him fight off the Gaiac attacks, and you know that, that first part in Flight from the Dark. I remember the Dwarven Gunners of Boar on Bainden's uh, skyship that you run into in the Shadow on the Sand books as working with him then. I remember continually running into the Herb Wardens as like this silent order of druids who just make a lot of the Lomsper potions that heal people. The Knights of the White Mountain, when you're going in Fire on the Water into Durner to take the, the, the ring, the Seal of Heimdall, to get the, to get the, the, the Sumer Sword back. A lot of these have very fond memories for me and really trigger that nostalgia of, oh man, those were the days. I'd love to play that again. For those of us who have those memories, now you can in a very rules light straightforward, streamlined sort of game. This would be a great gateway game to get either old people who haven't gamed in a long, old people who haven't gamed in a long time back into the world, or to get kids back into the system too. 
Again, this is a drivethroughrpg.com sponsored product, and you can use the download, the coupon code seen below for a discount on the download f for the at the drive through RPG site. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming. We average nine new titles a day. That's over 60 a week. And we've got well over 15,000 RPG titles online right now. Drive through RPG, the one true source for RPGs.